Hello dear friends and welcome again to Adventure Story Channel videos. Today my dear friends we will talk about some interesting topic. One of the questions that you are always asking me is if I am able to work on a different uh, type of vessels or on a different company. But most of this video will be associated with the difference working on the different types of vessels. Like let's say for example on the tanker ship or on the bulkier ships and if we are able to move from one category of ships to another. One important thing and I have also tested uh, that in myself that when you are working on tankers uh, you have a different way of uh, thinking and approach to the things that you are doing. So you are more focused on the safety itself and that is true because you have a different, uh, let's say, uh, maintenance issues with the, which is mostly related with the cargo and as you understand the cargo that we are uh, transferring there has a low flash point. Also looking uh, to the product itself that the oil and gas carriers are carry uh, it's a really uh, interesting uh, products and they have a huge differences between them one important thing to take in account is that uh, the training itself the training sessions that you are doing on the oil tankers and the gas tankers are much more uh, focus on that uh, perspective on the safety itself and knowing also uh, how to repel uh, unpleasant situations but one on on the main things is that uh, the safety is really really high on the oil uh, seagoing tankers and mostly that category of vessels because uh, they have a huge uh, potential for, uh, let's say, a big and major uh, event to happen if uh, things are not followed properly, if uh, all the regulations and all uh, the standards that has been uh, imposed from the industry are not followed, then the consequences will be much higher because the product itself that uh, these vessels are carry is a really huge amount and that amount will have a much higher impact uh, in the global scale um, the difference is yes it's really high and as i mentioned previously it's the training itself also it's uh, completely different uh, you have more uh, training on the gas carriers and the, the oil tankers and it's much easier to move on from a tanker to the bulk carrier than from bulk carrier to the tanker but the main point is that if you are moving from a good oil uh, tanker company to a bulk carrier you will uh, see some things and that things uh, will give you a different overview uh, of how one uh, let's say type of vessel is working and another type of vessel so it's a completely different feeling yes working on both uh, categories for sure in the bulk area you have less equipment uh, for maintenance you have less personnel but you have a different way of uh, working that is true that is true, uh, there is huge, really huge differences. I believe uh, the more complete and uh, more, uh, let's say, build up of knowledge you will have on the oil tankers, even uh, if you compare with the gas carriers, because the gas carriers has a, a uniform product, it is a a uniform product it does not separate uh, on different fractions or different layerings so it's quietly a, a product which is uh, minus 160 degrees uh, celsius and if everything uh, follow properly there is no that much 
uh, issues if you compare to the oil tankers where you have uh, all kind of let's say uh, fractions on it so you have also the gas phase you have the liquid phase and uh, the heavy phase of uh, the product itself if you compare the barrel carrier the bulk carrier can carry any product let's say cement uh, fertilizers uh, coal metal scrap metal whatever you like it's more dusty it's more let's say um, physically demanding work than uh, on the oil tanker vessel uh, because the oil tanker vessels are so much designed and a very crucial part of it is uh, the crew itself not the vessel itself because then uh, everybody is assigned for a specific role and specific duties and this is the importance that all the roles and all the positions are follow uh, the proper daily work and daily schedule so by this way it is much easier to achieve uh, a better constructive work through the time that you are on board so yes there is differences it's huge differences and uh, i don't think so that somebody will move from the oil tanker to the bulk air much easier due to also uh, the salary itself and also from the way of working uh, we can say it as mentality but if you are willing let's say to start uh, your path within the industry and to have let's say the future development the oil tankers are still the best solution for the future because we are full demanded from the oil and the oil give us uh, what we have today let's say as our cell phones computers whatever we see uh, from the plastics and from the chemicals itself so it is a huge industry it's a industry that uh, makes our lives better and uh, hopefully it will continue thriving in the future forward for 30 or 40 years uh, when let's say the existing oil wells will be uh, deplanted but no not uh, finally let's say empty so uh, if you would like to get some uh, let's say advice it is fine you can write here on the channel and i can pick up and direct you to the proper way but it is your decision what you will follow and your needs let's say which is best fit for each uh, individual uh, for the beginning and let's say when you're apprentice engineer and you start your career for sure you will need to see which uh, let's say type of vessels are fit to you better and this is basically the time frame that you have uh, from checking let's say your abilities and your capabilities and your willingness to learn uh, each type of vessel and for each specific reason because uh, many of us can have uh, different specific reasons uh, that are able to select that that type of vessels i had some of my friends let's say for example or my schoolmates uh, colleagues from the academy that they prefer to be on the tugboat some of them let's say working uh, in the near uh, land vessels uh, ferries that carry passenger cars or passengers so that was their desire and this is uh, the willingness from them to be on that side we select something uh, more uh, wide let's say starting from the wall trade of uh, the oil tankers or containers or bar carriers because then it gives you a much higher advantage and 
the way that you are thinking when you are in open sea, uh, managing your knowledge and your capabilities to problem solving. Because as you know, this environment is a, a difficult environment when you are dealing with such a, a different challenges through uh, the sailing career. So that gives you a, a mindset of, first of all, safety on board, and safety of your um, team. Then for sure it's uh, the safety of the environment, the cargo and the ship itself. Then you have to uh, apply all that knowledge that you have learned through the time. Hopefully this video will be helpful and uh, as you have requested also uh, one of uh, my subscribers that have requested this video and that's always nice to get uh, connected with you. Mech, thank you very much and I have seen that you are very active in the channel and uh, your questions are really interesting. Thank you that you are the heart of the channel that drives and makes me also uh, motivated to make more interesting videos and share with you uh, my knowledge. Thank you very much and see you in the next video from Adventure Story Channel. Bye bye.